I mean, I, I've seen this country being falling apart since that coup in 2009, which I covered back then. And then Honduras by 2012 becoming the most murderous country in the world, stepping back a bit from that, but continuing with just all kinds of level of widespread extortion of people by gangs, these incredible corruption cases. Then in 2017, um, a, a contested election with accusations of fraud and a massive crackdown. So really, you know, 12 years of a very, very bad situation uh, and then a, a bad pandemic hurricanes, you know, more cows, more poverty, and people just desperate for a way out of this. And outgoing President Hernandez, he's not running for re-election, but he's accused by the US of running a near narco state. How prevalent is drug trafficking in Honduras? Yeah, it's, it's a very big place, a very big trampoline for moving cocaine from South America up then to Mexico and into the United States. I interviewed uh, the president uh, some years ago when he first entered office, and he talked a very good game of combating drug trafficking. And then it emerged uh, in a, a case, an accusation of his, or when his brother was convicted of cocaine trafficking, he was publicly accused. Now, he hasn't been indicted, but there is fear, uh, I think, or, or concern, or people speculating that, you know, following the election, when he's no longer president, he could be indicted and taken to the US. And that puts pressure on the election and maybe on his allies losing. Would that be a more dangerous situation for him? And what about migration from the country, Yoan? Hernandez, his repressive rule, it's already had a significant impact, you could say, on the numbers of people fleeing to the United States. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you really look the last few years, the, the main driver of the migration through Mexico to the US is migrants from Honduras. They've really been the biggest numbers. And this has been part of the whole situation of large numbers of migrants arriving at the US border. Really, the, the, the rise of certain elements of Trump and all of the, lot of the discussions are coming from this. So, um, you know, this is a, a big factor, people abandoning such a difficult country. Uh, and on one side, there's concerns, could there be another crackdown coming in if, if this uh, uh, president, outgoing president accused of drug trafficking is involved in some other crackdown? Would that push more migration? Or is there hope for trying to turn this back with some change in the country and some turning corner in its history? Thank you for that, Yoan. Yoan will, of course, be 